In this lesson, we're going to be introducing the idea of compounding interest. Um, it is usually typically very kind of financial, um, where something is compounding daily or monthly or quarterly or something like that. So here is our equation. Um, A represents the amount, so kind of your final amount um, in whatever the account is. And then P represents your principal, uh, also known as your starting value. And then one plus your rate, R is your rate, so it's an interest rate. Make sure you turn it into a decimal, so if it's 5%, you need it to be 0 0.05. And then divided by N. N is how often you're compounding something per year. Um, and then N also plays a role in your exponent. And together, the N and the T, which is your time, that's the total number of times you're going to compound something. Um, so if you were compounding something, um, well, here's all your different options. Annually is uh, your n equals 1. Semi-annually means 2 times a year. Quarterly means 4 times a year. Monthly means 12 times a year. And daily means 365 times a year. So if you compounded something monthly for 30 years, you would have 12 times 30. It would be 360 total times you'd be compounding something. Um, so that's what that power is going to represent. So we have an example that is... Um, just to try to show you what you got going on. Um, so here's our equation, and our situation is, suppose that we take $100,000 and it's invested at 6.5% interest, compounded semi-annually. Um, and so we're not adding anything to it, we're just gonna let the money do its thing and see where it comes out in the end. So the 100,000 is our starting value, so that's our P, and then our interest rate is 0.06, Five, and compounded semi-annually, so that means your n equals 2. All right, so our formula is 100,000 times 1 plus 0 0.065 over 2, because it's compounded um, semi-annually. And then we're going to have 2 times time. All right, so that is our formula. And then here is our situations. If we put our money in for zero years, four years, eight years, and 10 years, we're looking to see how much money we get out of this. So I kind of have them all set up, um, and then we're going to throw this into the calculator and kind of see what happens. Um, but, well, we'll just do it. So, all right. So our equation is 100,000, and we're going to do 1 plus our interest rate divided by 2. So I can do a fraction right there, 0 0.065 over 2, and then raise to the 2 times 0. So if we put money in and it sends in an account for 0 years, our final output should be exactly where we started because we gave it no time to earn interest. And then the good thing about the calculator is to go to this next one, we can just move up and highlight this and um, just turn our zero into four. So our hundred thousand dollars in four years would become one hundred and twenty nine thousand one hundred and fifty seven and seventy five cents. All right. So we'd make almost thirty thousand ish in four years worth of interest, earning interest, compounding. Um, and then if we did the next one, same thing. We'll just go back and make this an 8. So we're, we're doubling the amount of time, but because it's compounding, we are not doubling the end result. So because you're giving it more time to compound on top of itself, earn interest earning interest, you're going to get more than double what you have. Um, and that's always the case. And then if you do one more for 10 years, um, we'll go back and then highlight it. So we'd get 189, 583.79. All right. So those are the values. Um, so in 10 years, if we constantly gained 6.5% semi-annually, we would end up with 189,000, almost 190,000. So what if 
uh, we were compounding something daily. Now I know that's not what this thing is asking for, but I want to show you the difference between if you compounded something semi-annually versus daily, does it make a difference? And we're going to find out. So we're going to go into our calculator. Um, we're going to highlight this, and we got to go back and change a couple things. And it's not the amount of time, it's how often we're compounding. So our denominator here is going to be 365, and then our power here is going to be 365 times 10. And so we're going to take all these little teeny tiny little bits of interest, but we're going to compound it every single day for 10 years. And let's see what difference it makes. So 189,000 turns into 191,000. 542, um, but that's going to just round to 543. So you're talking about a $2,000 difference of doing nothing different other than just letting your money um, gain interest faster, being broken up into these smaller little chunks. And then the last thing is, uh, what's the graph of this thing look like? Well, if we go in here and we type in our equation and we graph it, um, I'm going to tell you that your basic window is not even going to be close because um, we're starting at $10,000 and in 20 years we're definitely going to be over $200,000. So we need to change our window. Uh, we don't need to go negative time. Uh, we're going to go to 20 years, so let's go a little bit further and we'll go by fives. And then we'll start at $0 and maybe, I don't know, $400,000. And maybe go by 100000s and see what our graph looks like. So there is our exponential growth. So at 20 years, which would be this tally mark right here, we're somewhere out here. Um, so make a prediction of what this value might be. So our value in 20 years is, I don't know, that's 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 350-ish. Uh, and if you really wanted to find out, you can just plug it right in the calculator, or you can go to your table. Um, and go to 20 years. So if you just go to 20, it's going to tell you exactly how much money it would be. So our guess is 350-ish, maybe. Um, so that says 359. So not bad. But we're going to get some sort of a graph starting to grow exponentially if you give it enough time. All right. And that was compounding interest.